first thing to do is to make sure that your clutches are locked. I'm going to do the declination axis first and you start by loosening these grab screws and make sure all your four M6 bolts are loose enough so you can actually feel the play here and I'm going to start by first of all lifting up the shaft against the warm gear and then tighten this top grub screw only finger tight and then also tighten this opposing screw finger tight as well now using only very small adjustments to tighten these ever so lightly and then I'm going to tighten these M6 bolts into their final tightness and then we're going to have to do the same for the RA axis so for that I'm going to loosen up this grub screw over here this as well. Also make sure that my M6 bolts are loose enough so I'm able to move the housing. It is loose. As you can see, there's a lot of movement there now. Again, using this grub screw, we're going to have to find the Good tightness for the warm shaft. That's finger tight now. Tighten the other one. Finger tight as well. I can't feel any play there, so should be alright tighten these a bit and then tighten them to the final tightness So that's that, and all we need to do now is to test it out. Okay, it's moment of truth to see if this actually still works and uh, all the backlashes and the noises that I had before, if they are gone or not. So I've already plugged in my hand controller uh, and the power and it's on already. And I'm going to try with slew rate set to the max maximum 9. And let's try the declination axis first.
all of the grinding noise is gone and seems to be moving smoothly let's try the RA axis yep this was the worst axis before all of the grinding noise is gone and everything's moving smoothly so that's pretty much concludes the belt modification kit the only little mistake that I did was to actually fit this setting circle the wrong way around but it doesn't really matter because I'm not using them anyway um, so yeah all is left to do is to uh, replace the latitude bolt back into the mount and give it a few turns and make sure that it's still working and you're good to go okay one final thing that I, before I go um, after playing around with the mount for a little bit and making sure that it's turning all the way 360 degrees on both of the axes I noticed that I started getting a bit bit of the backlash on the warm gear again on the declination axis so I, I could feel if I tried to turn it this way with all the clutches locked I could feel a little play in there so what I had to do is to open these four M6 bolts again and do really really fine adjustments on the grab screws on both of the sides to get rid of the backlash and without binding the the shaft into the warm gear that happened actually a couple of times as well and um, you can definitely hear that when when it happens the stepper motor starts to skip steps um, so try to avoid that as much as possible um, I'm gonna close this video now uh, just by showing that the, sh the mount is still working as, as it should